Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to design this type of modern websites. All right guys, so I have here already the logo, font, and also the video that will be the main protagonist of this design. Now, what is missing right now in this design is to generate the color palette. So we're gonna use this background for the reference. For the color palette, I love to use the official plugin that Figma have, which is Color Wheel Palette Generator. We're gonna use the pen to draw like a whole line. Um, we want to make this design to have or to be inside of a modern Bentor grid. Okay, so you can play around with all different shapes and, and style and see, you know, what best fits the design. All right, so this is how it's looking so far. Um, I left two white space. One to put icons like social media, call to actions, which is the one in the top. And then this one down below, um, you can put like subscribe list or any other call to action that is relevant to the company. Okay, so we need to make a really good contrast between the elements inside of the frame and also the background because using white, it will make it look off. So it all depends on your color palette, but in this case, I will go for a darker color to highlight all the lights elements inside of the design. Voila, so you can see now that the design is already taking the direction we are looking for. We need to start working on the rest of the UI UX. We have the logo, we have the nut bar, and, and I think that this is the most important part because you need to understand what this company offer to bring you know this key information into the design so this could help to convert potential customers so this is the final result i have created different interesting components we have the heading and the description to help people to understand what the website is about what is the offering or what is the solution then we have this component whose goal is to pursue the customer we also have a next not bar down below the goal of this is to reduce the amount of clicks so you can always have any other relevant pages right here I added this line just to improve the aesthetics and also create like a better separation between elements. You don't always need to follow this exact idea on your designs. Um, there's a lot of ways to approach it. So the final touch will be to work on the animations and this is the result.